Castillo Clayton! Man, you want to touch gloves? Do it now. God bless. So you're Dana Sugas, among others, and gone to some about 30 seconds to figure out what his opponent <laughs> made his performance even better. And, and first black world champion in box the first round, and it's a jab fest. Uh, Al, we liked a lot of what we saw to Castillo in the round happen at the one minute mark as any paper supposed to provide. Yeah, I think he would like to put a dent in that. <laughs> From the lefty yeah. stance. And Ennis has already switched it for him that he win the battle of the jabs. And I, I wouldn't disagree with it. Yeah. This guy. But one thing that you mentioned early on, which is the reach, you know, to come in because he is a great jabber as well. It's called for Clayton to, to land that jab from that, that right. That was the first against a guy like Jerron Boots Ennis where really see that Ennis already took charge with the jab. Clear conclusion, but I think Al, that's yeah, probably yeah. It's a technical fighter like Ennis. Great jab. Looking for that counter, looking for that right hook. Number two scheduled for 12 and to really get his punch on mm -hmm. and for Jerome Boots Ennis uh, it does correct me but I don't think Ennis has lost a single nice left to the body by Ennis Jerome Boots a bit yeah yeah exactly you have to do that against him. boxing a man who eats breathes and Clayton has not been a lefty Ennis is a little more susceptible to that point he said there's no plan I do it when it feels right and what it much who he's beaten but how he's done it Metronome. I mean, it's just bam, bam, the timing perfect. And now he throws kind of a straight right hand. There's a knock. He feels like they need to, to change the plan. And oh, oh. Right hey. Make it 29.